What's going on guys? It's Garrett Myers or Yogi as a lot of you know me. We came to make a video today of Mark Wilmore's brand new triplex. I've got Chandler David Smith with me over there on the phone per usual and Mark Wilmore with me over there on the phone per usual. So you gotta love having friends who are always on the phone. But with all that said, let's jump into it. What's going on guys? I'm super pumped about today's video. I hope you're pumped that Garrett kicked us off and now he is on the phone, so. <laughs> or the computer. <laughs> but first off, I'm super excited about talking about this deal that Mark just landed, but I have to share a little friendly competition with the world. Two of our top divisionals here at Aptiv, as far as producing, recruiting, um, all of the above, are Colby Markowski and Mark Wilmore. Now what's fun is these two have a little friendly competition with everything they do, whether it's their reps and helping them produce massive levels of accounts. This year, Mark ended with how much in revenue with your sales force? Um, little under five million. Little under five million. And Colby ended up with? 4.5 million. 4.5 million, so how much did you beat him by? Almost 500,000. <laughs> <laughs> Almost. So Mark won this one, however, just a couple weeks ago, if you missed the video, Colby just bought a 12 unit apartment complex. So how many units are you at total? I'm at 15. 15, and how many units are you at total? Seven. Oh, so there you got a little <laughs> bit of this going on. I have one more coming next <laughs> so I'll be at eight. <laughs> so today, <laughs> today we're gonna dive into this triplex. It's a triplex, right? Yeah. That Mark just bought. We're gonna run you through the numbers, how we found the deal, and how well it's going to cash flow and make him fat stacks. However, stay tuned, because we're gonna continue to do videos with both of these guys because they just made a lot of money this year. They're gonna make a lot next year, but they both have big plans to build a big real estate portfolio. So right now, Mark did more production-wise in sales. Colby did more <laughs> production-wise in buying real estate. And then there's Garrett. <laughs> Last note, if you want to be part of the fund, you want to start investing in real estate, but you don't know how to get the money to do it, you can apply at www.elitesummersales.com and you can request Mark or Colby or Garrett to come and work with us. So we look forward to working with you. You get to work with all of us if you come jump on board and be a part of all of this fun. And hopefully we can not only help you make great money, but if you make great money, then we can help you buy a bunch of real estate. All right, guys, first off, we're going to take a walk around this property and you're going to tell us how you landed it. So was this off market MLS? It was on the market for about five minutes when I saw it. And then just kind of the same thing that got me into my last property. I knew I wanted to spend between 250 to 300,000 on either a duplex or a triplex. I saw that this was actually originally listed as a duplex and I saw that I had three units and I clicked on it and the rents were over 2,400 a month. So oh, wow. So it is actually three units. It is three units. That's so sick. Called Garrett, made sure everything looked good and we put in an offer five minutes later. And Let's go. Um, we pushed them. They didn't want to accept our offer because it listed Friday afternoon and they said they wanted to wait for the weekend to see what else rolled in. But then we just said, we'll do a full price offer and they accepted the offer. So That's awesome. So you ended, let's run the math on it really quick. Yeah, so it originally listed at 299 and then we put an offer in at 305 with $5,000 back in closing costs, a credit okay. for closing costs. And then they gave us $2,000 off after our inspection, so. Very cool, so you didn't have, how much did you have to, well, let's just go through it. Yeah. You got it plugged in. So purchase price 303. I actually updated the app. If you haven't downloaded the app, it's the CDS rental calculator and you can get it on the app store, but you can now make this number negative for when you get money back. So instead of having to spend any to do renovations, you actually got money back at closing. That's gonna take that into consideration for the money that's required for your initial investment. So 2000 back and you ended up with zero closing costs then because yeah. of the money they gave back. Sweet, 25% down, 30 years to pay off, 2.9% interest rate. <laughs> was it 2.9? Uh, was it 3.4? That sounds right. We're going to run it 3.4. So speaking of which, check into this. A lot of times when you get loans, there are things called dead rates. I don't remember if that's describing the rate that is good or bad, but essentially there are buy downs that do make a lot of sense 
when you are getting financing, especially if you plan on holding onto these properties forever. So do the math to see if the buy down is worth it and how many years you need to keep the property to see. But on my last couple of properties, I've actually done buy downs. I never do them on commercial properties. I just negotiate, but on residential, I do because it's a little harder to negotiate. So rents, $2,450. Now, are rents going up or is this rents where rents this are going to go up to? Rents. This is current. Yep. Do you plan on raising them? Yeah. Very so. cool. So we're gonna run it at current rents and then we might even show what you think yeah. this can get up to. Um, they can see we've got a 5% maintenance at 12, management at eight, and you just hired a management company. I did. You got to that level where you're, well, I remember you texted me, you're like, uh, I'm ready. Yeah. <laughs> well, I just figured since I still go out for the summers, if anything did happen, I didn't want to have to come back or travel or make you know a family member or a friend do it. So I was like, make sure my tenants are taken care of and our properties are taken care of. So I figured it's worth the 8% cut. That's awesome. Yeah, when you're starting out, I don't have issues with you learning and trying and doing, but um, once you get to the point, it, it reaches a point where you managing them, you could make more money doing something else than the money you'd save trying to manage your own. Yeah. So, and then insurance at 660 and taxes at 1200 around the numbers, that puts him at a whopping 11.38% cash on cash return. So your cash flow on this property will be $8,390 every single year. So I wanna go and walk around. We're also gonna show you the interior, what it looks like. And when we show you the interior, maybe we can talk about what we could bump rents to. Yeah, definitely. Sweet. So guys, we're gonna take a quick detour. Here's the thing, me and Garrett seem to always have slightly different <laughs> ideas on how to handle things. Would you say that? Mine's usually right. No, not true at all. <laughs> Garrett, always. Garrett is very much a like, get it under contract and then go from there, I would say, right? And no, if I would your say numbers, I'm just a little no, more realistic with things. No, 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 but if your numbers are close, like for me, I have my oh, yeah. die hard, I won't pass. You're like, oh, it's close enough. Just oh yeah, send I'll it. definitely flex. So you're very much like, ah, oh, $15,000 off. Cause we're putting in an offer right now on a fourplex that I'm thinking about partnering on with my brother. And I said, no, let's just write it up at 800,000. And Garrett's like, no, they said they'd only do 815. And I'm like, well, whatever, write it up at 800. Otherwise we just won't do it. He's like, well, if we get it under contract then it'll go. So no, no, Chandler's like, no, just, just text the agent, see if they'll do 800. So I'm like, okay, I will. So I call him. I'm like, Hey, will you do 800? She's like, no, we, we definitely won't do 800. We'd probably do 815. So then I'm like, Hey Chandler, they'll do 815, but not 800. And Chandler's like, well, let's just send the offer at 800. No, cause I'm really so, confident. <laughs> so we send the offer at 800 and she's like, Hey, I told you we wouldn't do 800. No, no. <laughs> he's going to stew on it. And if he doesn't get any offers above that, he's going to be like, yeah, let's do it. If he does, I don't want to buy it anyways. I just, to me, <laughs> 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 this changes Chandler's monthly payment by $12. <laughs> I know, you're, but you like, have you're losing to. losing the deal over $12 no, a no, month. But... $144 a year. Let's do the math. Pull out your calculator. No, no, no. But Pull out your there's certain standards. Numbers. Pull out the CDS. There's cer I know it's minimal, <laughs> but there are certain standards you have to hold to. Otherwise, you just bend to everything. You told me one of your biggest real estate investing regrets is that you weren't more aggressive with a lot of properties four and five years ago. It's true. But there's something, <laughs> here's, here's the thing about life though. This is with everything that you do. If you have certain standards and you hold to those standards, you're always happy because you know you just held your standard. If you start bending on your standards, then who knows where you're gonna end up. Yes. <laughs> All right guys, we're gonna get back to Mark's deal, but let us know in the comments, who's right, me or Yogi, the guy that holds to his standards, or the guy that doesn't. Oh my <laughs> <laughs> All right, perfect. Yeah, just put it in at 8.15. Are you I'll, being serious? Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we decided to move the conversation to Garrett's G-Wagon, completely paid for with passive income. However, he also paid for extra tint on the windows, so now we have to have the windows down, so we're just as chilly as we were outside. But the lighting is great. Limo tint. <laughs> <laughs> so um, we wanted to go through each of the units and kind of talk about the size. We can't go in because all the tenants are in the units, which is actually good news. But we're gonna go through and look at a video. We're gonna put that video up here so that you guys can see. And we're gonna talk about where rents are at and where we think we can be. And so that we can kind of look at what kind of return mark can expect from this property. I want to see inside the little separate unit. That is this video right here. Sweet. So it looks like it is more of like a loft layout. 
So uh, the yeah, it's like a studio. Very cool. Decent space, door. Does it have washer and dryer? Um, this one does not. Cool. So I would say that in this area could rent for between 550 and 650 because that's kind of just the bottom of the market. What do you have it rented at? Uh, it's rented at 650 right now. Very good. Perfect. So I don't know that you've got a whole lot of room to get yeah. that one up at least right now. Yeah, I agree. So this is the top unit. All right. Is this the bigger unit? Yeah, this is the main floor. Very nice shape. Looks like they're enjoying their time there. So it's two bedroom. Yep. Um, I'm guessing for that one, you're probably looking at 900. Uh, yeah, this top one is getting 950 right now. 950, very good. Okay, and then this is the bottom. Two bedrooms, one bath. Oh, it's two bedrooms, one bath. What is this one renting for? 850. Okay. So maybe there's a little room. Which one were you thinking that you could potentially raise? Um, I think just over time, just here in the spring, just cleaning up the property a little bit, making it look a little more you know, appealing. Presentable, maybe you've got another 25, unit. 50 bucks in there. Yeah. Okay, so very maybe cool. Maybe 25, 50 bucks per unit. And then with that studio apartment, I kind of thought if, depending on how long he's there, I could just make that an Airbnb unit, just like a, a stay. Just a stay to a come one. and go. Yeah. Maybe milk a little bit more out of it. Yeah, maybe update it a little bit or put a washer and dryer in there. Wouldn't be too hard. Very cool. So your cash flow, $8,400-ish. That's with a management company. Did it hurt to lose that? Um, initially it did, but then I thought about, you know, having to find new tenants, sign leases, keeping everything organized. And that for itself was just like, you know, it's a couple hundred bucks a month to not have to do anything and make it more passive. So yeah, I think, I think it's that. a smart move. I think the other thing that you'll notice about this property, it's not like a high end property, but it's been well taken care of, very clean units. Um, I would say the interior looks better than the exterior and yeah. so cleaning up the exterior could probably do a little bit for you. I think the most exciting part though is you're constantly adding to that portfolio and right now we're in a market where property values are still exploding and it's hard to find a property that cash flows this well that's this clean in a market like this. So I think you did freaking well, it's exciting. Yeah, I'm excited and we'll see how it goes this year. Congrats. Thanks. Very cool. Well guys, if you enjoyed this video, these are my favorite. I love going out with these guys that I've known for the last couple years. And when I met them, they were poor college students. And now not only are they not poor, but they've been smart with the money that they've made to buy investment properties. And so we'll continue to push these out. I think what our sales reps this last year, Gare, have probably, we've got probably 30 plus now that have bought rental properties in the last 12 months, which is super, super exciting. And I would say the biggest part about it is just who you surround yourself with. Yeah. I mean, honestly, looking back three, four years, did you have plans to buy real estate before you'd come and done sales? Not really at all. Yeah. I didn't even think about it. I was hoping one day I could own a house. <laughs> For <laughs> like, sure. Be able to afford a nice house and that's... And now you've got this sick house. We're gonna put the picture. Mark actually has a super dope house. <laughs> um, and his sick truck and both of those. Is everything now paid for with your passive income or are you almost there? Um, once, depending on what, we have a townhome under contract right now. Uh, depending on what we do with that, that cash flow would cover all of our expenses. So awesome. And that's the thing that gets me hyped is I love that our people put themselves in a place where if their active income shuts off, they're still in a great place to be able to make their monthly payments for living the lifestyle that they've chosen. So congrats. Thank you. Sorry, Colby. <laughs> Let's zoom in on Colby. He's just in the back. <laughs> All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you remember to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel and hit the little bell. Also, if you are interested in coming and working for us, you can go to www.elitesummersales.com. Also, if you're interested in picking up my real estate investing course, this is your last chance. The sell ends today, and I may or may not make it so the code can work through the weekend. So um, I haven't decided yet. So go and snag it today. You can get my real estate investing course for $100 off. That's only 199 bucks for the entire course. And we are revamping the entire thing, adding a ton of extra stuff stuff here in the next month or so. So go grab it now because the second we revamp it, the price is going up to $500. But if you buy it now, you get access to all of the new stuff and you don't have to pay extra. So thank you so much. And we'll look forward to seeing you in the future videos. Hey, Mr. Value, Mr. Yep. Principles, Mr. Standards, what are we putting the offer in at? See you next time. <laughs> <laughs>